Right, hello everybody. As you can see, we started with a blitz. Uh, welcome to the semi-final of Champions Cup Season 21. And it is Trific Kick with Lizardmen versus Mike and Machine with Humans. And this blitz is absolutely huge. For some reason, Triad exposed a skink to a blitz. And uh, rather than getting his skink blitzed and removed by this tackle palm, he has, he has removed a strength 4 tackle Mighty Blow Guard player. So that's quite a huge swing on the blitz there. Um, looking at the teams, Mike the Machine has a movement 9 for the one turn, which is quite good. But uh, Try has two stand firm guys, plus he has Slibly, so he has three stand firm. So very hard to get the two pushes. You would need a quick snap to get the push there. And uh, somebody said that he didn't like having the super skink on defense, but he's managed to run straight under the ball. And he has just tagged the tackle pommer there with a skink. I would have rather tagged the skink, tagged the tackle pommer with a with a Saurus. Right, let's pause it now and have a look because uh, it'd be good to see the players, wouldn't it? All right, first hit there is a is a cheeky Kaz, but obviously Trific had to do that to avoid the tackle hit. Um, yeah, so right, looking at, let's have a look at the team. So we've got the movement one, that's the main one turning threat. We've got an Adge block guard, which is an amazing catcher. That really elevates humans to the next level, doesn't it? Having an agility catcher. <laughs> Basically a shit gutter runner. <laughs> it's really good for them. Uh, the strength four block guard tackle mighty blow is brilliant. Brilliant blitzer there. Uh, he's got two guard mighty blows, but obviously they're not so good because they're not strong enough to hit Saurus and they don't have tackle for skinks. Um, he's got a fantastic, the perfect skink killer with Juggernaut. Um, block, obviously, because he's a blitzer, tackle, palm, jump up. Um, he does have a skink to hit there that it looks like he's about to hit right now. But, you know, it's it's a tough for humans. Oh, and then Tri's team is just all block and guard, which is obviously amazing. Star player has block guard, stand firm, which is obviously amazing. So, you know, it's just a great team. Tri's is great, very TV efficient. They actually had an inducement off at the start of the match. Uh, Triffic got rid of his Apothecary and one of his rerolls. Um, Mike the Machine got rid of a few players, but Mike the Machine did not deny him Silly Billy. Um, he did say he miscounted in the chat, and I believe him because I would not want Triffic to have Silly Billy. I would have cut anything to stop him having Silly Billy. Uh, I call him Silly Billy because that's what he used to be called. Now he's Slibly. Um, but yeah, I would, I would have done anything to stop him getting Slibly, for sure. I like just going to pick up in the tackle zone here. I like that. That was that was the move that I would have done, I think. And the block guard over is nice, isn't it? And now Mike's just reaches to doing dodges, isn't he? Trying to, uh... <laughs> yeah, you know, now he's just reduced the tackles on the dodge there, of course, because... Well, that's what of course as we put it but you know there's a lot of three pluses and pretty much all of them were bad to fail but now we're passing all of them um he didn't really need the four plus one but all the others he needed so now he's pretty much recovered from the blitz but um obviously Trific is going to keep the pressure on it was actually a big stun there wasn't it because that gets the tackle freed again Tags a player also makes it three dice with mighty blow. Glorious. I wouldn't have hated a, a blitz on him to get more in there. Ah, oh, but he's saving the skink. That's of course fair. And taking the tackle pump out of the game. So yeah, that's a good good plan, isn't it? Hides the uh, thing. Pretty huge bonehead here, isn't it? If this boneheads, it's terrible for him. I like that both big guys have got blocked, but it's a risky block, that, isn't it? If he'd put in the assist, then he could have hit with Slibly and uh, wouldn't have been all in on the dot thing. So this is a good move here by uh, Trific. What he does is he dodges away first. Because he's popped dodge, he just goes in the corner. If he hadn't popped dodge, he might have carried on going through the side uh, up here. But um, as it is... There was talk about three dicing this guy, and I hated three dicing him. I think if you wanted two dice him, fair enough. But you got to you got to go up here, haven't you, and recover your drive? Like, I thought for sure Mike would have gone up here and tried to recover his drive, but he didn't. Not only did he send one player to hit the skink, he sent three players. Um, 
I like the sidestep there. If he'd gone down there, he'd only be able to go one way this way. He can come up and he can come back or he can go across. So I like the sidestep direction, but uh, I hated three dicing him, especially without without Mighty Blow, because that just meant that he had to cage up right the way back. Um, no, I didn't like it. I didn't. I was seemed a huge commitment just for a non Mighty Blow. Hit. Even Mighty Blow wouldn't have liked it. It was the tackle pommer, maybe, but I still wouldn't. <laughs> I still would have probably just two dude him. But now you know, now it's horrible because now he's right, right back up, isn't he? That was a huge, a huge cost making that 3D. You could even just put two guards in and just punched with him, couldn't you? That would have been funny. So, ooh, I think maybe he's the the guard could have maybe. The tackle could have maybe he's gone back a bit because I don't think he needs to be up up close there. Maybe he could have hung back around here. Maybe even no, maybe even assisted him again. So now he does bonehead, and that that is obviously pretty bad to bonehead, isn't it? Because uh, then the Olga gets to hit you. Fails the one in nine dodge after Mike has made pretty much every three plus dodge, <laughs> and obviously leave him over there on you know stopping the jump up guy from doing anything. Yeah, I think I think maybe he's tried to kept the tackler back some, and maybe he's another player back as well, because he kind of left the door open a little bit. I mean, not a lot, but a little bit to kind of make some kind of a loose cage up here. Cheeky two D for the uh, Olga there. Very nice. And he fails his dodge and he's got to re-roll it. I didn't like doing this dodge. I hated doing this dodge first because you've got to do this dodge, right? You've got to do this dodge to make like some kind of any kind of screen. Um, <laughs> and instead he just dodged a punch. Um, I mean, also this guy should have been one over, shouldn't he? So that then he could have dodged out to here with the killer. So uh, yeah, I think the killer absolutely had to have dodged. And he does another dodge. Still not dodging the oh, but the killer's edge two, right? Yeah, the killer's edge two. So that's that's probably why he was going for the three pluses. But he went for another three plus, and you know it's just just a just an automatic two D on the ball, isn't it? Um, if he wants it. You know, he could he could he could jam in a guard there as well. I like putting the guard in here and then pushing him in between the two guards. Now he's going to have to pull back the tackle now to keep him as kind of a safety. Yep. He could get tagged, couldn't he? So he's going to have to watch for that. So yeah, I like I like him basing him to stop the this guy getting tagged. Ooh, I'm not I'm not such a fan of that. I would have rather probably uh, sandwiched the catchers. To be honest. then he could have only got out back and now he can get out forward I think this 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 character up here would have been nice but I, I see why he did it because he wanted the tackle he's got his skink exposed hasn't he so yeah he does get to dodge forward but the tackler is hanging around and now again, Mike's doing the old hunt skink tactic, and he, again it's another three dice commitment for a non, a non mighty blow hit. And again, I don't like it. You know, he's got to, he's got to protect the ball and score and stuff, hasn't he? Not, uh, not just hit skinks. And like, sure, it's great if you eliminate him, but it hasn't got mighty blow piling on. He's just hitting him with, it's armor seven. You know, armor seven holds up all the time. That's uh, even mighty blow wouldn't have been that. Worth it a lot of the times, I don't think. So now, now, Triffic can definitely get his mighty blow back. Uh, tackle, he can base the ball, or he can just run him back as a safety. Either one. What else? Just a Saurus, tackle Saurus or something? Are the guard Saurus? Anything? Just certainly the other. Certainly last turn he could have hit something else. The the turn when he went in the corner in three days. Or just not hit. 
or just not hit. <laughs> um, you don't have to blitz, do you? So, I don't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like the first one was worse. Obviously, the first one. The first one was worse. Putting three guys in the corner was horrible for me. He makes the, he makes the big block there. And then he comes in there. No, it wasn't. It wasn't any fair at all. It was a three player commitment. It was a three player commitment. But anyway, I'm not going to argue about it because I'm doing this. <laughs> so I like, the, I like the dodge there to get the uh, diamond tackle on as well. So now he's got tackle and diamond tackle on this guy. Which makes it tricky, doesn't it? But he can blitz him with this thrower. If he gets a pow. Which he does. But he blocked his own path there. This was a bit mispositioned, wasn't it? This this character could have been in this square. One, two, three, four, five, six. But he, uh, he put him in the wrong square. So he had to make an extra GFI to hit the skink. Finally gets him down. Well, no, he's got him down every time. Doesn't hurt him again. And we've got the old dodge out. You can argue he could have gone for this dodge first. But this is a... They're both one in nines, aren't they? Just one needs a team reroll. So... Catch does not work. And now... Now it looks pretty terrible. For... Mike. <laughs> He's out of rerolls. And tries got four turns left to get the ball and score. And he's got the sure hands guy there. No, totally wrong, Wayne Farrow. <laughs> if he blitzed him, the guy who stood up could have moved three squares, right? Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't about to risk hitting with Slippy, was he? <laughs> I'm not gonna ban you. <laughs> I just don't like. I don't like making it three dice all the time when you're not hitting with Mighty Bow. Even if you're hitting with Mighty Bow, I don't think it would have been worth it. I think this was a very, a very Reddit tactic of I'll just hit the skink all the time because it must be good, right? And I don't think it was a good play. This grab was great here, wasn't it, from Slippy? Um, obviously, he got the power, but if he got the push, he would have still kept him. You know, if he got the push, he wouldn't have wanted to follow. So if he didn't have grab and got a push, he wouldn't want to follow. Even a power, he wouldn't want to follow. But with him having grab, he was able to keep him close by and not. So even even Slibley's crap skill was good there. There he's good. Olga doing very good. It's his, uh, it's his, the first removal, isn't it, for the, uh, for the ogre, and he, he stunned Slibly before. But the, uh, he's the nightmare now, isn't it, this Blitzer, because he's, he's marked by the, he's marked by the croc, so he's basically agility one. Um, not good. He's going to try and dodge away, though. Could have probably surfed this catcher. I'm think I'm thinking he could have surfed this catcher, but it probably wasn't worth the effort because <laughs> he wants to get forward, doesn't he? At least a little bit. He doesn't have to get forward too far with movement here. And with uh, with Mike having a bunch of guys removed, not actually that many though. Only two. Only two actually. It seems more. I guess because he got the he got the strength four out instantly, it seemed worse. This is all solid, isn't it? From trying making it safe, very safe. Still got a reroll. Keep the tail on the uh, blitzer.
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a rough matchup for humans, lizards, and then the blitz was just absolutely brutal. So, you know, who knows what would have been like if uh, if Mike had got a proper offensive drive. So now he doesn't try the dodge out. He's just going to stand up to get smashed by a Crocs. <laughs> I'm not sure I like this. Um, blitz direction. I would have rather he came round and pushed him out that way. Um, because as it is, if he pushes, if he only gets a push, he's either stopping the 2D here or he's still basing the ball, isn't he? Um, so I think it would have been better to have come round to punch him. Double skulls. Slibly obviously ain't gonna try to re-roll that. I guess he could have done with only one turn left and, and with dodge, but um didn't. So he could go for the he could go for the dodge in, couldn't he here? He could go for the five plus dodge in to hit the ball, but uh he plays it safe. And just hopes to uh Make a network of tackle zones with a few dodges. Yeah, I wouldn't have hated the five plus for a two D. That might have been better than hoping the uh, hoping try failed all his dodges and hoping he made all these dodges to be able to make try and make more dodges. <laughs> he actually made the he made the five plus dodge out. And yeah, this this is a this is a bad placement of the killer here, isn't it? He's just not doing anything. Um, you know, if you just look at the board, if try if Mike had spent more time looking at the board, um, he really should have made like two GFIs really, because there's nowhere, there's nowhere really try can go here apart from trying to score. Like he could go out the back and stuff and around, but it's not good as it is. This this one was good to make him just make one, two, three, four dodges, but actually the the right way would to be blitz with a skink, make two dodges, one dice this guy. And then you see so you're effectively making three dodges because um, obviously the block you've got the you've got the reroll for so two dodge blitz would have been the the best odds to score I'm pretty certain um, so yeah you know every everyone else is like you can only free up one saurus and it's not very good is it to free up that one saurus the the surf gets him a kaz which is nice isn't it. And it, but yeah, so so try doesn't go what gives him the best odds of scoring. He goes with hitting this guy with mighty blow tackle, which is fine, isn't it? Not as as fine as if he had armor seven. But um, I do think I do think this. Well, I know that this blitz would have given him better odds to score. As it happens, um, he fails the dodge and gets cast. <laughs> so it wouldn't have mattered if he had done it right, but. Um, that would have been the play. Two two dodges, then a one D, and then a, and then it would have effectively been three dodges. You do two dodges first, then the, then the one D. Yeah, two dodges first, then a one D. So it's effectively the same as three dodges, isn't it? Because you've got the team reroll. Um, whereas he was going to do four dodges. So that would have given him better odds to score, but. There was obviously some value in in getting the blitz on the on the um, edge guy, you know. So um, so it's not like it was wrong to do it the way I tried it, but that the, the 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 that way of doing it would have given you slightly better odds to score, wouldn't it? That's all. Um, <laughs> right. So after that, yeah, it was it was tries drive. He chose to he won the toss and chose to kick. I should have said that at the start. He did take quite heavy losses actually. Huge uh, KO roll failed here. And obviously that Kaz on the dodge fail is absolutely massive. He, he did get rid of his Apo to get Slibly. So he's down to five, six, seven, eight, nine players. Um, still does have the full complement of Saurus though, by having Slibly. So he's not actually down Saurus. But the Saurus catches the ball. So, um, you know, this is a problem, isn't it? Because he's already down 
players. And now he's going to be down an extra Saurus until he hands off to uh, probably the only skink that isn't a loner that he's got left. So he's probably going to want to hand off as soon as he can to get an extra Saurus back in the fight. After I think. <laughs> yeah, he did catch like a mongoose with this this Saurus. <laughs> but he luckily he got he cleared the tackle zones. So yeah, he's not going to be too happy with this try. I, mean, I think if he had 11 players still, he'd be all right with it. But um, it's pretty scary because if he gets based by block and stuff and gets a bolt down, can't clear him, he can't dodge, can he? Although he is strength four, so it's not that scary. And the leader tackle stayed out as well, the thrower, so uh, but still three rerolls is fine for my the machine. Oh, because they both got an extra reroll, didn't they, from the kickoff result? Sorry, I'm a bit slow. I prefer this two dice blitzing with two dice blitzing a Saurus than three dice blitzing without mighty blow a, a skink. <laughs> Not that he had any skinks to blitz anymore, but you know. Getting a base in there. Not sure about the basing because he's he's kind of easily dealt with, isn't he? Feel like maybe he shouldn't have based at all here. Don't like this is a bit of a herb dirt base base base, isn't it? Don't really like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Mike with enough rerolls, what the hell? That's a good that's a good block, isn't it? Because you get the follow up block from the crocs on a push. Does make the ball a bit less protected though. So he's gotta think about about that before he block before he blocks with the crocs. And he does it he does it perfectly. Because now even if he double skulls um and dies, he still can't crack the cage, can he? Properly. He does not double skull. <laughs> or die. <laughs> I mean, he could put guards in here and do something, couldn't he? But uh... so it's kind of paid off, I guess. The ogre, the ogre base. He didn't get him free. I think mean, I maybe would have gone for the crocs. Just to, then he'd have the danger of failing the bonehead to stand him up. But I guess this way, he might want to block with him. And he risks failing the block or, you know, failing the activation as well. I guess it'd be better if this guy was one square further forward. I don't know if he could have done that or not, though. But he does risk the crocs. First action. Boom. And obviously be four safe moves first because he wanted to do something with him. This is going to be a geophyte to blitz here. No, he's just going to hit the dodge. Fair enough. Fair enough, he's got tackle, hit the dodge. And a cheeky Kaz. And I guess there's enough over here to, uh, to hit. Is there? No, not, there's not, is there? Five versus five, he's gonna have to put in a skink to hit over here. Yeah, he was gonna put protect the ball with that, then we realized he needed the skink to assist, so swap the skinks around. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's really tough for Mike, isn't it? Even though he's probably not even up men that much anymore. Three Six nine. Is it nine versus nine now? Looks like it. Oh, Mike, I pulled the movement nine because this is one turn chance, even though he needs a quick snap for it. Um, or crazy pushes against. Like, he needs to Kaz a stand. Well, not Kaz. Kaz or KO a stand firm guy. There's a Kaz. Now Mike's actually getting mighty blow hits and Saurus, right? He, didn't, he couldn't do it first half because he was. Uh, he was under such extreme pressure after the blitz, whereas now he's getting to. Maybe if uh, maybe if if there hadn't been that blitz and he'd done this in the first half, the the Saurus removals, he would have had a better chance. But I do like kicking. I do like the try chose to kick because 
I feel like uh, on defense, a lizard man team with a full team is just horrible to deal with, isn't it? Ouch. And on offense, they've at least got um, they've at least got skinks and stuff if things get desperate. So that was a nice blitz. He's getting some good blitzers in with this mighty blow tackler. Very nice. Another another AV break. The skink's quite good there, isn't it? Stops him getting a one D back and stuff and does things moving that skink around and he's also expendable, so even if he gets hit by the tackle pommer, it's not that bad. And if he had made the tackle palm hit, then um, he's probably conceding the score, isn't he? So he res he restrained himself then, like the machine did not did not take the tackle palm hit on the skink. <laughs> Didn't activate the ogre. And another one bites the dust. <laughs> so like tries down four players. But uh, Mike's got five off the pitch. Block, block saving these big guys quite a lot, isn't it? And again, tries really in no no rush to move down the field, is he? There's a uh, even though he's got the ball on a saw, as you can always try for the handoff when it's really safe. He might think it's now. No, he doesn't. Juggernaut coming into play so that he wouldn't get stuck on a stand firm as well. It's good, isn't it? But, you know, I mean, he's got so few players now, Mike. machine. He's just trying. He's trying to L screen with only. You know, he can't. He can't properly L screen, can he? He's only got a few players, so. This defense is basically doomed to failure eventually. If I was trying now, I would have uh, I would have actually blitzed this guy, I think, and uh, switched swiveled round. Nah, maybe not. Actually, he doesn't have a lot of players, does he? He really doesn't have a lot of players. It's getting pretty tricky now for try. Tricky for try. He really needs the ogre, a bonehead, or Kazim or something. They're going for a bit of hot basing action. And now he's going to do the handoff. And still a bit risky, I guess, but not so risky. He makes it. Still got two rerolls. It's really hard to stop lizards, yeah. Really hard to stop lizards. <laughs> Glorious, hello Tom Randhill. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like it's it's a very unenviable position for Mike the Machine, isn't it? It's, how do you even stop this? It's horrible. That's one way to do it. KO Slibly. So now if that KO stays out, Mike has a slim chance of a one turn. Gotta go for the cheeky one, dude. I mean, if he had more players, he could he could make a better, much better defense, couldn't he, against the movement eight stunties? But he just can't. Now there's a real chance to uh, block this guy down, blitz this guy, and uh, move laterally. But he's not going to. He's going to go just push forward and probably screen out the back, right? Yeah. So here, what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> People hear that what I would do, but it's not right, is it? You know, it's not like he did anything wrong. Um, I think it'd been better to have put the Asaurus here, tagging this guy, um, just because if you tag him with Asaurus, it makes it that much harder for him to base the ball with tackle, doesn't it? Or just base the ball at all. Um, if there's a if there's a Saurus basing him, it just gets really hard for him to base the ball. In any way, shape, or form, but because because he isn't basing him, I like the Crocs dodge out at the end because sure he hasn't got an apple, but you might as well try and get him in. That would have been really good if he got the Crocs in there. But uh, yeah, this is the thing because he's he's going to get the dodge blitz there and then dodge away with him. Whereas if there was a Saurus here, 
It'd have been a lot harder for him, wouldn't it? Gets the blitz, kills another skink. <laughs> and gets tackle on the ball. And can run around the catcher the other side. And he can try and base this Saurus. Which he does. And that's about the best he could do, wasn't it, really? And I think try what try just does the dodges, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fair enough. Just do the dodges. So both KOs fail though. And all three of Mike Machines come back. Which makes makes potential overtime look horrible for Try, but obviously Try could get these two back as well. But that's six, maybe eight. And uh, Mike has ten. So if Mike can get this one turner and there is a non stand firm player to hit. So how would you score this one turner? It's hard. It's definitely hard. Um I think I think the best way to do it would be to um, dodge into here with the uh, Juggernaut Blitzer, push um, this Stand Firm guy into this guy. No, into this guy. No, into this guy. So you've got to put someone there. Oh, this is tough, isn't it? <laughs> um, oh, yes. No, you have, so you have a hole. You have to use the hole method then. Yeah, so you have to use the hole method. And so you push this guy into here, so you get him in the hole. Then push your guy forward to there. And then push him forward to there. So you can do it. But it's, um, yeah, use whole method. So I think that would be the way. Juggernaut, 5 plus in. And then probably the Guardian. Probably make it a 2D even. Um, depending on which guard he's got. And then push him into the, into the hole. Then push him one forward. And then push him again. Yeah, so you can do it. You can, you can, you can do this for sure. Um, it is a bit shit, yeah. Yeah. The Juggernaut is Agility 2. Very good point, Artemis Black. That's not so good, is it? That's a 6 plus dodge. So, <laughs> with that being said, you the best move is to then pow this guy, right? The best move is to just pow the Crocs. Now that we've found out that the, the, the Juggernaut is <laughs> Agility 2, pow the Crocs, dodge in here on a 5 plus, and then not use the hole. Yeah. I still think it's I think it's better to just power the crocs first though than go for the six plus dodge. He gets a five as well. I think it was better to just try and power the crocs first. Um obviously it sucks if you don't power him, but I think you've got to try it to power just to make it a five plus dodge. So yeah, you could only set a two up, but it was it, you only needed two on that side and you could move the others first. Um I'm pretty I, it would have been I think it would have been the best had the had the juggernaut been agility three. But I think going his way, you sh you've got to block the Crocs first because you know you've got to you've got to power it to make it to make it an easier dodge, haven't you? Huge difference between a six plus dodge and a five plus dodge. It's not that critical anyway, you know. He, was, he had three minute turns and uh, and you know he was under a lot of pressure and everything. It's not a, it's not a it's not a horrendous mistake or anything, but I think he probably should have blocked that Crocs first, um, or gone in the other side and hit the uh, Saurus first. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I think you should have. Uh, I think you should have definitely block first. But it doesn't matter, does it? You know, understandable. He had a lot of bad luck, didn't he? The blitz was absolutely brutal, um, and after that, it was just pure domination from the lizards. Having a team of of seven strength four and one strength five is pretty good, with loads of block and guard. Right. So that that's it. Congrats to try. Commiserations to Mike and Machine. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.